Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing multiplication and division. This is standard 3.5b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 9 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So it looks like Claire's got 12 wooden blocks. She placed the wooden blocks into four equal groups, and we just need to translate that into a strip diagram. So probably one of the most helpful tools that we can use is this graph draw tool. And so I'm going to first hit the, uh, the diagonal arrows to kind of stretch it out over the whole problem. So we can kind of draw and annotate all over this problem. And you see this transparency slider can make a make the grid almost disappear and we can also actually make the problem almost disappear. And so I'm going to switch to this draw feature here and this is how we can just kind of draw on this, right? So we have 12 wooden blocks and we're going to place the blocks into four equal groups, right? Four equal groups. So this is what lets me think, all right, it's supposed to be multiplication or uh, division. So I mean, one easy way to do that, right, would be to, let's just draw four groups here. And I'm going to have 12 wooden blocks, okay? So I'm just going to divide them up evenly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right, so I've got... 12 blocks split up into four equal groups. Looks like I'm going to have three groups or three blocks in each of these groups. Now, we can eliminate at least one of these answers simply by just adding up the numbers. Look at this, four. All right, this is a strip diagram, so we're going to do four plus four plus four. Okay, so that makes 12. And then we're going to do 12 plus 12 plus 12. Here's the problem. Look at this, 36. So this representation is three groups of 12. Uh, and so you got 12, 12, and 12. So we have a total of 36 there. So that's the one that we're just, we're just going to get rid of. B is not going to work for us. We've got C, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Okay, that makes 3, 6, 9, 12. But look at D. We've got 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, so 4, 8, 12, 16. So even if we didn't want to draw our own representation here, take a look. We're going to get rid of B. We're going to get rid of D, simply because they don't even make 12. They show a total greater than 12, right? If you wanted to kind of finish out the strip diagram, you would put the total up here. These two are going to be your problem, B and D. So let's go back to it because I've got 4s and 3s and A and C both make 12. So I've got 12 wooden blocks. Let's make a division sentence here. All right? Divided into four equal groups is going to equal 3 in each group. And that's going to be my key to when I'm separating the difference between A and C. You see one of these is, is showing that 12 divided by 4 equals 3. One of them is showing 12 divided into three groups equals 4 in a group, right? And both of those are correct number sentences. But I need four equal groups. And you see that's what we're going to get right here on C. We've got four equal groups. And even though A is a correct number sentence that, that would work for us, it's this 12 divided into three equal groups gets you four equal, it gets you four in a group. And while that is a correct number sentence, we're looking for these four equal groups. And so that's what we're needing right here with C. All right, so we close this out, make sure we select our C. You'll see that it's gonna become a little bit darker, have this little blue dotted line around it. And then you just hit that next button in the top left corner. 